Hi and welcome to Yoga Lattes with Rashmi. Today I'm going to take you through some simple stretches that you can do when you're experiencing menstrual cramps. The reason that we get menstrual cramps is because your uterus is contracting and it's releasing the blood. So if it's contracting too fast or too hard, that's when you start getting cramps. So we'll do simple stretches to ease out and to open out your pelvic muscles and it will help you relax and feel better. So let's start. We're going to sit in Baddha Konasana or the butterfly pose. Your legs will be stretched a little bit forward. I'll just show you the side view profile so you know how forward your legs are. So you're not keeping your legs too close to you. You keep them slightly away from you and you keep your back straight. What we're going to do is we're going to start bending forward without slouching and just slowly bend forward and stay there. So whatever is your maximum, you just stay and you just breathe and relax. Now every time you exhale, try and push yourself a little bit more ahead. You'll feel your pelvic muscles and your inner thighs opening out and just stay there. You just stay here and hold the stretch. Slowly inhale and come back up. Now let's try pulling your legs a little bit closer towards you and just start moving your knees up and down. Keep your back straight. Again you want to just Ease out your inner thighs, your pelvic floor muscles. Sit with your back straight. And we're going to bend forward once again. Slowly breathe in. And as you exhale, start bending forward. And just stay down and relax. So if you're not able to come all the way down, you stay at whatever level you're at. If this is your maximum, you stay here and just hold it. You want to try and keep your back straight and not slouch like this. You want to keep your shoulders relaxed. Let's breathe in and slowly come up. Place your hands on your knees and start pushing your knees down. Keep your back straight and your back flat. And slowly relax. Get your knees close together. You're going to come on your knees now, on your hands and knees, on your falls. We're going to do the cat stretch, but the sideways cat stretch. So you're going to slowly tilt, you're going to turn your hip to the side and with your head you look at your hip. Come back to the center, turn your hip to the other side and come back and look straight. So as you exhale, you go to the side, look at your hip, inhale, come to the center, exhale, twist to the other side. Inhale, come back center. We'll do it just a few more times. As you exhale, you go to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, the other side. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. A few more times. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale to the side. Inhale, center, exhale, inhale. Let's slowly relax in child's pose. Stretch your knees out, push your hands down, place your head on the floor. So you want to just try and stretch your hands out, try and flatten your back, relax. Okay, let's slowly come back up. We'll do rotations now. So you're just going to rotate your pelvic area and your hip area, making circles. So you just need to breathe normally and just keep rotating. So your spine basically extends upwards and then contracts and you're just doing a rotation along with it. And then you can also reverse the rotations, doing it on the other side. And once you're done with your rotations, again you can sit down 
and relax in child's pose. Let's breathe in. And as you exhale, try and stretch a little bit more. Ensure that your knees are apart and you're not close to each other when you're relaxing in the child's pose. Slowly sit up. And we're going to lie down on your mat now. Once again, you want to feel your spine on the floor. Keep your abdominal muscles relaxed. Keep your pelvic floor muscles relaxed. You can stretch your hands to the sides. Let's take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, slowly twist your knees to the right side. You can keep your head straight. As you inhale, you come back to the center. And as you exhale, you twist to the other side. Once again, inhale come back center you can just keep repeating this slowly come back to the center if you're experiencing any lower back pain it's good to lie down with your knees bent uh, because when you put your knees straight then that lifts your lower back off the floor so you can lie down with your knees bent ensure that your back is straightened and you just breathe what you could also do is you could keep your legs raised up on a chair or a sofa whatever keeps your knees at a 90 degree angle that will also help relax your back a lot one more really relaxing pose is lying down in the supta baddha konasan pose where you lie down and keep your knees apart what you could do is you could keep a pillow under your head and you could also keep two pillows just under your legs to just help you relax more I'm lying down without pillows today, which is also extremely relaxing. You keep your hands by your sides and you just close your eyes and breathe. Just keep taking long deep breaths in and out. Every time you exhale, try and push your spine lower into the floor. Slowly get your knees together. You can just hug your knees close to your chest, relax your lower back. Slowly place your feet on the floor and relax. Okay, you can slowly turn to your right side and sit. So these were simple stretches that you can do when you're experiencing menstrual cramps. It's very important to rest and relax when you're experiencing cramps and do these stretches that will help ease the pain. Exercising on a regular basis helps to ease these cramps. So make sure you stay fit and you keep exercising. You're watching Yoga Lattes with Rashmi. I'll see you in my next video.